Welcome to another video by Lane Creations, Log Analysis Made Easy. Have you ever had a lookup file like this and you needed to be able to refine down the results doing uh, to get back, say, just the rooms with room two in there or some other example of trying to reduce down your uh, lookup file? Well, this tutorial is going to help you figure out how to do that. All right, what we're gonna do is we wanna be able to let you do the same example on your own system. So we grabbed a lookup file. We're using Lookup Editor, great little app that lets me see all of my lookups. And I'm gonna come grab this campusexample.csv. I picked that one because it comes with Splunk Dashboard Studio. Anybody who has a modern version of Splunk Enterprise, Splunk, I think it's eight, but we'll go with Splunk nine, and later we'll have, should have this CSV. So you can come in here and you can see what it looks like. I can see the values and I can even come in here and run a little search on it. I do a pipe input lookup, campusexample.csv. I get back these results. But what if I want to be able to re refine this search? In normal Splunk, we're very used to going, I want the filled room equals room one. If I do that, I get an error. It doesn't like that. What if I just do room one? Doesn't come back. Room one this way. Can it take wild cards? No. So this is this is the problem that people get is they don't know how to search their lookups. Well, here I'm gonna give you three different methods that will work. The first one, we can just do a where room equals room one. So we'll just put a pipe command here, where room equals room one. If we hit that, we use that. The reason I use this where command is previous versions, we're talking quite a ways back, didn't support method two that I'm about to show. You had to use this where command. Where is, where is, a, good, where is a good feature? If that works for you and that's what you wanna use, use it. The other one now you can do, later versions of Splunk. I don't know when they started supporting this, but now you can use search which is kind of odd, search should have always been available, but I do remember earlier versions of Splunk that you could not do pipe search, it'd be pipe where. Anyway, so now I can do a search, the exact same method, or if I don't want to pipe this in, you can actually use the where command right in your query before you even use a pipe. If you take the where out, does not work, but if you put where in, this line here, you will be able to search your data. We're gonna just change it, we're gonna go room two. Boom, I get back my results. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you subscribe or become a member to my channel. Your support helps me be able to make this channel work. And I hope you keep coming back.